This is a classic Betis pattern that's very simple. It's got tail, it's got legs, it's got a wing case, all the goodies for your local Betis hatch. Fly fish food. Okay, this is a cool little Betis pattern tied out of Life Flex um, and just kind of a little bit of gray feather. I've got a Tiemco 200R in the, in the vise um, with a tan colored bead. So I'll just start my thread right behind the, the glass bead and I'll put several turns of thread behind that. Um, the, the GSP or the, the nano silk is very, very slick. And so you have to put several turns of that on before you let go of your tag end. All right. So I'll just dress my, my hook with the, the thread. And now I'm going to take any gray feather. This is a hen saddle from Hebert Miner. I think it's a, it's a medium dun color. As you can see, it's got really cool variations in it. But any of those uh, hen saddle feathers, like a, a Brahma or a 4B, any of those will work. Because I'm just going to pull off a few of those fibers and I'll use it for the tail and also the legs of this nymph. So I have a few fibers, I'll tie those in and check the length. That length looks pretty good. I don't want those too long. And then I'll just wrap those fibers forward and tie them down a bit. For the body, I'm just using Life Flex, which is a stretchy material kind of like Spanflex or, or any of those Flex family of materials. And I'm going to tie in a piece of it about right there. And I'll pull this excess tight and get rid of it. And that will suck that excess back down into the thread. And as I wrap this material in, I'm going to pull it pretty tight because I want a, a pretty slim body. And I can use the Life Flex to help build taper into this fly. So I've got that tied in all the way back to the tail. And from here, I'm going to take that and pull it fairly tight and start to wrap it forward. And as I get closer to where the, my wing case is going to be, I let off the tension and so that starts to to build a little bit of a taper into the body. As you can see it looks like there are little mini segmentations in this. Kind of a cool effect and it's a very durable material as well. So again I'll tie it off, pull it a little tight and trim it off. So when betas are about to hatch they get a very dark wing case. So I have just some flashback tinsel in black. This is the medium size. And with this thread, it's kind of tough to tie in because the thread's slick and the material's slick, so you, you have to just keep trying until you get it. And that's about how long I want my thorax to be. All right, so I'm just gonna take some um, SLF Bug Dub it's a cool dubbing because it's a, a rabbit um, dub that has a little bit of flash mixed in. But you're also able to dub it down really, really tight. So as you can see, I've got a tight little dubbing noodle. And I will take that and wrap it forward. And once I get up by the bead, that's maybe a little bit too much, so I'll take that off of there as best I can. Let's wrap that, and then uh, make sure that the thread is a little bit back on that dubbing, not all the way up by the bead. All right, to tie these legs in, I'm going to actually advance the thread back into the dubbing a little bit. You don't want it right by the bead, um, because it will push the legs out at a, an unnatural angle. And now I'll just grab four or five of these hen fibers and I'll lay those right on the side of this fly. 
and tie those in so that they kick off about like that. And I'll do that on the other side as well. All right, so you can see I have the, the legs kicking off to the side. Now I'll get rid of the excess. Sorry, I'm all fingers when I do this because I have fat fingers. And this is a very small fly. This is a size 20. All right, so from here I'm going to take a little bit more dubbing and, and cover up those thread wraps. all the way up to the bead and I'll just pull the wing case over and just do one turn and then put a few turns right behind the bead and trim off your wing case. So there you've got it, a little beta with just a few little legs coming off the side and we'll throw a whip finish in it and call it good.